Okay, here we go. Now for question number one. All right. Now, I, I, again, I, I appreciate you guys with the with you have your answers, but please look up now. All right, make sure you're good. This is called the difference of squares. So it's going to be 7x plus 9 and 7x minus 9. Anybody have a problem with that? All right. Yes. Okay, so what's 7x times 7x? 49x squared, right? That and that makes how much? Right? There you go. Perfect. Now, let's just keep going because because I think we're doing pretty good. All right. So now the factors of 36, this should, be, everybody should say this is an easy problem mm -hmm. because it's X squared. All right. So you should be able to look at that and just say, I'm looking at X times X. And then you're saying the factors of 36 that make 13, nine and four. All right. Now we want it to be negative 13. So we're going both negatives. All right. All right. And then we can always double check our work by saying negative 9x, negative 4x makes negative 13x. All right. Now over here, this is already a nice little factor by grouping. All right. I have x minus 8 and x minus 8. So that's common. Everybody should be able to tell me that's just x minus 8 times what? 7x plus, Seven X plus 2. Anybody have any questions so far? All right, hopefully you feel like you're three for three. All right. Now over here, starting to get a little bit harder because the leading coefficient is something other than a one. All right, but let's go ahead, take our time. We know in order to make five X squared, I need five X and what? X, all right. Now it's just a matter of where do I put the three? Where do I put the two? All right. Mm -hmm. I want two over here because in my eyes, I'm visualizing two and five is 10. And if I put the three here, I'm visually visualizing three and one makes three. All right. Now I want it to be negative seven. So I have a negative and a positive. All right. Now's the time, please. Um, I'd like some help if, or I'd like to be of some help if anybody's having trouble with that. All right, if you can do that, you're in pretty good shape. You're in pretty good shape. All right, everybody's good? All right, now over here, we talked about this yesterday and the day before. These are not the same, so I must factor out a what? I must factor out a negative. So in this part right here, we're going to go ahead and say 3x parentheses 2x minus 1 becomes negative 4, and then the 1 becomes what? negative one and the two x becomes positive two x now are those the same yes they're the same so i'm going to write them in the correct order as two x minus one now is anybody stuck on factoring out the negative anybody stuck on factoring out the negative all right now you can see we're doing just like we did before so again this would just be two x minus one is common and we have three x minus four Okay, I'm listening. Go. You get the thing add up plus one. Well, yeah, because I, 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 no, I'm not gonna. You know, I know you're working. This is kind of hard. All right, so I am. That's what I'm saying. Show your work, and I can give you some credit. All right, but you have to remember if these signs are different, all of the signs change. All right, here we go over here. Don't be confused because there's x's and y's. We have two sets of parentheses here. The only way to make x squared is x and x. Factors of 18 that make 11. Nine, Nine and two, but don't forget the what? Put the y's in. And again, they're both what? And they're both positive. All right, so let me change that real quick. All right, anybody have any doubts? Anybody have any questions? All right, if you got those, all right, pretty happy. All right, now over here, this one kind of is a tricky question because there's two ways to make five. 
All right, so you just have to make sure that you're double checking your work. All right, so here we go. Let's do 3x and x. Now let's do it wrong first. If I put two over here and one over here, that's going to make six and one. So this would be negative and this would be positive. And of course we don't forget the y's, right? But the problem is, although that makes the negative five xy positive times a negative would equal a what? Negative. So that's not correct. All right, so everybody needs to make sure they're taking that into account and they understand what I'm saying, right? Now watch, all right? They both have to be negative because that's the only way we can make a positive. So we're gonna say it's going to be three X and I want the two Y here and I want X minus Y here, all right? Now, when we convert this real quick, ah, we're gonna convert this. Um, and now you can see using our smiley face, negative two, negative three makes negative five. Everybody happy with that? Yes. All right. So now let's check out number eight. All right. As soon as we see four terms, immediately we know we're doing by what? Grouping. Grouping. So we're going to factor out a X squared first, and then this becomes two X minus five. Then we're factoring out a what? Negative, negative. negative three. And then this becomes two X minus five. All right. So that's the first step. Now you can, everybody should be able to see we're right back where we started before. Now there's a common what? Two X minus five. And so we're left with X squared minus three. All right, happy? All right, let's check out number nine. All right, we're back to easy because the what? Because the leading coefficient is a what? One. All right, we're back to easy because the leading coefficient is a one. So I have here, here, x, x. I have two, two, both negative. All right. And of course, that will change it to negative 4x plus 4. All right. Just to make sure, double check here, double check here. Now, of course, in the past, I've been telling you, please just go ahead and write it as x minus 2 squared. All right. That would be okay. But it's not necessary. All right. What? Never mind. All right. Here we go. I, I turned the factor at lower because I found it both factor lower, but I forgot that it makes a switch. That is correct. Okay. All right, now over here, a little bit harder. All right, the reason why it's a little bit harder is because 24 has lots of factors. All right, I know, so it's annoying. Here we go, here we go. I'm not saying right or wrong. We're just looking at two X and X, all right? Now, I'm gonna put eight over here. I'm gonna put a three over here. Now, the reason why I was thinking about that is because 16 and three makes what? 13, if the 16 is positive and the three is negative, mm -hmm. all right? So once again, all right, it's kind of annoying, but you just have to shuffle through all of the possibilities you shuffle through all the possibilities until you come to the right one. Normally, I say four and six, all right? But the reason why I didn't start with four and six is because four would have nowhere to go. Is everybody with me on that? Yeah. Four would have nowhere to go. Six would have nowhere to go. So it couldn't have been four or six. We'll be challenging. We'll be challenging. Thank you. Um, yeah, Oliver, how can I ask a question? Um, <clears throat> so I don't know why I can't hear you. All right. I, I don't mind if you talk. All right. But I don't know why I'm not hearing you. I don't care. All right. I can see the notification right there is chat. 
All right. I, I, I don't want to chat. It takes me too much time. All right. I want him to speak. Oliver, you can talk. All right. I'm not sure. All right. Here we go. Now I'm on number 11. All right. Now, again, number 11 is just the difference of squares. All right. Now, I know it's written backwards. All right. But it doesn't matter. All right. We can just go ahead and do the two sets of parentheses. And the 121 is 11 times 11. The only way to make 9x squared is with what? We're going to say 3x and 3x. And we want the middle term to cancel. So one of them is positive and one of them is negative. All right. That's it. All right, Mr. Cappy, what? Well, I can, I flip them to three X minus eleven and three X plus one. That would be wrong, right? The reason that's wrong is listen to me because three X times three X is nine X squared. Do you hear me? Yeah. Three X and three X is nine X squared. It's not negative nine X squared. All right. We also do like eleven. Right, eleven times eleven is positive one twenty one. You have it as negative one twenty one. All right. Mm -hmm. So here we go now, again. Now, shouldn't be that much more difficult. It's just x to the fourth. To get x to the fourth, it's x squared times x squared. All right, then you're thinking the factors of 24 that make 11 are still what? So it's negative eight and negative three, all right? Now, just to double check yourself, remember, negative 8x squared, negative 3x squared makes negative 11x squared. All right. Yes. No, no. I mean, it, it, it is possible, but uh, you won't know how to do that until Algebra 2. Unless you're factoring from 3, you don't reduce it down to the one point. Well, what, how could you factor this? more x plus four and x minus four. four times four is not oh, eight okay. x four. if that was x squared minus 16 we would be in yeah, business yeah. right but neither one of those is a perfect square that's why they don't factor all right now again i i just don't think that was that difficult all right if you did those worksheets those 160 problems then this was not difficult all right, now the factoring completely plays where you have to factor out a GCF. You're factoring out a GCF, all right? So now as we continue, let's look at number 13, all right? The GCF, all right, factoring completely, GCF, all right? What is common here? Why, Why what? A y squared, yes. Now we're going to do x squared plus 10x minus 24. Now, again, this one is an important problem because 24 can be 4 and 6 or 12 and 2. So you have to decide for yourself what do you want it to be, all right? Do you want it to be 4 and 6 or do you want it to be 12 and 2? Now... Most people think four and six are not looking at the signs, all right? They both would have to be positive if you're going to use four and six, do you agree? But the problem with that is that the negative 24, all right? You see what I'm saying? So that's where you have to be careful on this type of problem. So I have y squared, open parentheses, all right? And now we knew it was x plus 12 and x minus 2. Once again, I'll try to make myself as clear as possible. I'm going to see if it'll let me convert that with that highlighted. Yeah. Okay. So now, once again, all right, you're looking at this and double checking yourself that what? When you're doing the smiley face, 12 minus 2 gives you that positive 10. Positive 12 times negative 2 gives you that negative 24. 
And of course, we would look at x times x. That's how we got the x squared. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. All right, let's look at 14 now. 14 GCF, what is y. it? I can pull out a y for number 14. All right, and now I have 6x squared plus x minus 1. And now it's just a matter of understanding. The only way to make 1, all right, you need to break 6x squared down into 3x, 2x. The only factors of 1, 1 and 1, right? Now, again, you got to be real careful. I want the 2 and the 3. I need the 3 to be positive. So this over here is the positive, and this over here is the negative. A lot of people made a mistake on the test putting the positives and negatives in the wrong spot there. All right. It's not automatically, you know, whatever is the bigger number. All right. So please be careful with that. Let's convert that. All right. I'm going to convert that. All right. And hopefully that will make sense to you. All right, let's knock out 15 now. 15 is an important one, all right, because there's nothing. Is there a GCF right now? No, there is no GCF. So it's just basic factoring, two sets of parentheses. You're supposed to say, hey, how do I get x to the fourth? Yep, we're doing x squared, x squared. Now I'm just saying, what are the factors of 25? 25 and 1. All right. Now, the reason why we're not using 5 and 5 is because that does not equal to the negative 26. So if you look at this right here, negative, negative. All right, now if you're looking carefully, negative 25, negative 1 makes that negative 26. All right, does anybody have any questions with that so far? All right, now, as we're looking at this, got to fix this, sorry. All right, now, as I'm fixing this, now you have to understand what's true about x squared minus 25. That does factor into x plus five and x minus five. And then the x squared minus one factors into what? X plus one and x minus one. All right, so here we have this. Uh-oh, not duplicating, but hey, I'm telling you, all right, tell, there's no, no, he doesn't want to talk to you. You turned around, all right, just stop. Just turn around, I don't care about an excuse. I don't care, all right? Here we go. Anybody have any questions with that? Yes. Then it's wrong, that's correct. And that's why I'm trying to show you. I try to give you a little break by not mixing everything up. But when you say factor completely, it'll be factoring how many times? Two or write as many times as you can. Up here, notice I only had to do the factoring what? Once. There was one factoring. All right. Down here, factoring twice. All right. Now, x to the fourth minus 16. All right. This is an interesting problem because when I factor this, it becomes x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 4. Now the issue is, can I factor x squared plus 4? No. no. But I can factor what? X squared plus 4. I can factor x squared minus 4. And that factors mm -hmm. to what? Mm -hmm. That factors into x plus 2, x minus 2 times x squared plus 4. All right, now I'm going to change this out.
Take a look at that. Okay. Somebody have a question on that now? Who was asking this? Okay, here we go. Let's look at here. What's common? The number 17. GCF is four. So let's factor out a four. Then I have X squared. Right? X squared minus 8X minus 9. Okay, so now I have four parentheses. X, X, Minus nine plus one. Anybody have any issues with that? What's the matter? I mean, for other ones, but like asking for this one, does it matter if it's where you put the negative sign and the positive one? I don't. I don't know what you mean. Can you swap like the spots of like the negative and the positive one? Yeah, plus? Just, just well, listen. Add. It's 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 multiplication, right? Mm -hmm. So does it matter? No. The order, all right, or all these could be different, all right. Two times three is the same as three times two. Okay. You with me? All right. So here we go. Number eighteen. Have to be careful on this one. What do we got? A, 3A. I'm looking at 3A. Do we agree? Yeah. So we're going to do 3A, parentheses, Y squared plus 12YZ plus 11Z squared. Everybody's good with that? Okay, now from there, all right, 3A, Y and Y, 11Z, uh, 1Z, and I need 12, so they're both what? They're both positive. All right, here we go. So now let's go ahead and convert this out. All right, all right. All right, anybody have any questions with that? All right, anybody? All right, let's knock out. 19. All right, what's common here, guys? Why? Why? All right. So when I pull out a Y, I'm left with 3X squared minus 19X plus 6. Now, as you have gained experience, you ought to be able to look at this and say, well, I need 19 and the three and the six together make a what? 18. 18. So you're strategically trying to place the three and the six close to each other. So you will get an 18. Right. All right. So I'm doing three X and X. And there's no reason for me to try three and two. You can do three and two, but if you've been listening and paying attention, 
you know that I'm trying to make 19. So you should be able to look at that and say, well, I know then a six has to go here and a one goes here. And then if I'm combining, I'm getting one X and 18 X and I need to be negative 19 X. So they're both negative. All right, everybody's good with that? All right, so here we go. It's a good 20 now. Here again, we're just looking at the grouping aspect because there's four terms. Factoring out an X, I get X plus three. Over here, I'm factoring out a Y. And I'm getting X plus three. And now I'm gonna fix this. So now I have X plus three. Is this working now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank goodness. Sorry, I've been trying for like the entire class. We're, we're right here. We got you. Converting that to math. Hey, you got boys. I'm just telling you, I'm tired of it. All right, Max, I'm not telling you again. All right, both of you. Okay. Now your final thing down here, converting <laughs> so you can see it better. All right, there we have it. All right, anybody have any questions with number 20? All right, and number 21, last and not least. All right, what are we factoring out here? 10Y, it looks like. All right, so I'm going to getting 10Y parentheses, 5X squared minus... 2x minus 3. Do I have any problem with that? What? You said minus 2x equals Okay, thank you. All right, now from there, we're just going to have and factoring this last piece out right here. All right, I need a 5x. I need an x. Now I need, if I try to put the three on the right, the three and the five get too big. So I want the three on the left, one on the right. Now I have three X and five X. I can make two X, right? If the five is positive and the three is what? Negative. Negative. All right. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and convert that over. Now I want you to kind of evaluate yourself, please, right now. Don't, don't, don't fool yourself. All right. Again, you kind of watch me do it. All right. Hopefully you feel like, wow, that's not really that bad. Hopefully you go, wow, I've come a long way. All right. You know uh, how to do that. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. You got homework. Well, right. I hope that helped okay. out. Um, I'm sorry about no, that. No, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't focus because my bird was trying to scream the entire yeah, time. Yeah, I know. You can listen to the recording again. All right. I, I, can I just ask a question though? Um, could I? What, Oliver? So, for on the ax squared bycb thing. I can't uh, hear you. Oh my gosh! Can you hear me now? Yes. 